Hi YouTube, this is your girl Sandra aka Simply Love and I'm here to do your monthly reading for September, the monthly love reading for September 2017 for the sign of Aquarius. How you guys doing? Thank you for viewing and thank you for being here. Um, you know we're in the retrograde now, some strange things are going on. We also had an eclipse and um, I hope you all enjoyed that eclipse and not take it as it was entertainment, but it is a spiritual portal that's opening up to um, us to be, get spiritually connected and pull our lives together and have a brand new beginning in life, okay, when it comes to love relationships, okay? So, with that being said, you know this is a general reading. The messages may apply to some, but not all. If it does apply to you, it's your angel guides. It's not me, okay? It has nothing to do with me. It is your angel guides that's trying to reach out to you and wanting to give you messages, you know, not your full story because it is general, okay? You get a full story that just pertains to you and you only to see where your guides want you to go, where you need to be. It's always positive. It always ends up positive, but you have to be the one that wants that positive change in your life. That's what all, this is, this is what the tarot is all about. It's, it's spiritual. Um, it's about having a spiritual connection. And it's about, you know, bringing on brand new beginnings for yourself, showing you direction, giving you guidance. That's all spirit wants. So there's nothing negative at all about any readings that tarot, uh, the people that do tarot do. They're here to be messengers and bring you on the messages that you need to hear. And you have to be ready for it. If you're not ready for it, you're just going to continue to go around and around and around in circles until you're ready contact somebody and that's when spirit is going to deliver them beautiful messages that they have for you for your life but you have to be ready we can't tell you what to do we have free will and you're able to do whatever you want to do i'm sorry my little what's wrong princess is saying yeah yeah <laughs> she's sitting out here with me stop calm down it's okay so uh, for the sign of aquarius let's see what's going on with you first of all you have the queen of swords Okay, you've got the devil, you've got seven of pentacles, you've got the strength card, you've got the four of cups, you've got the ten of cups, you've got temperance, and you've got the death card, okay? So, let's begin. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. Got Princess out here with me, helping me out with the messages. <laughs> so she feels spirit around me, okay? So let's begin, okay? With the Queen of Swords, this is your energy. So this is King or Queen. I'm reading for Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. If this doesn't, you know, resonate with any of you, you're welcome to watch the others with, uh, with whatever in your natal chart. Okay, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Aquarius, this is your energy, or, you know, it could be someone around you with the same energy as you. This is a court card, okay, so we're speaking of a person, King or Queen of Swords. This is someone who um, is putting their foot down or, you know, drawing the line, being direct. Um, being observant of things that's going on around them, um, being, like I said, being direct in, in their words, um, in their thoughts, uh, and again, being observant, and they're very, and they're in a protective mode, so some of you out there are in a protective mode, and this could be in the recent past, something that you were, you know, you know, being on guard about now, and it's due to this devil, you know, a, a, a negative energy, um, a possessive energy, whatever the, it, it, the, that holds you or ties and bounds you to something or someone, or it could be in reverse where someone's stuck and tied to you, uh, unhealthy situations or unhealthy ways that you think about a situation, okay? Uh, that's probably why you have your guards up, you know, tell, you know, standing on the firm, you know, like, telling it like it is like i'm i'm, I'm very observant I, i'm going to speak my piece and it's going to be you know boundaries okay setting boundaries uh with something that uh or someone that you've been tied to it could be a capricorn for some of you okay 
for some of you. This is not for all of you, just for some. And it's something that you've been working on or thinking about working on, okay? Uh, a relationship that, you know, uh, that you're just observing and seeing if it's going to grow. See if it's going to, uh, if you can overcome some doubts and fears, okay? Uh, about another person or someone is that way about you, okay? Um, this could be uh, some of y'all involved with a, an earth sign or earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Uh, and you do have the strength card where you're getting your strength, you're taming the inner beast that was inside of yourself. This is something I feel like you or someone else is trying to work on, okay? And they're trying to defeat their, uh, their inner fears, uh, their uh, codependency. Um, either you or this other person and it could be a Leo as well okay um, but you have the strength is what you know because this is a major arcana card and so is this one okay but you have the strength to do what you need to do um, tame the inner beast with inside yourself um, having the strength to, to do what you need to do when it comes to a love relationship um, overcoming things with strength and the spirit guides are there to guide you and direct you and giving you the strength okay and for some of you i feel like this this is something maybe going on now in your the way you feel now um or someone around you may feel this way it could be a, a, a water sign a cancer pisces or scorpio they may be um you know uh in some kind of doubt about a relationship they could be somebody could be bored or this could be you it could be you know like i said we're reading for some um sun moon and rising um where you you know could be bored or someone else could be bored or maybe there's something that you know being offered and you're not accepting or they're not accepting it uh, when it comes to love at this particular time you know it just could be just a, a, a struggle but whatever it is um, that you know this other person may be focusing on maybe they have their mind on other things and they can't you know completely uh, commit themselves right now and maybe that's why you have the strength now to you know to tame the inner beast with inside of you or they are trying to tame the beast inside of them maybe they're going through some type of thing uh, but there is a blessing here um, and, and the decision is going to be yours, whether you or, or the other person, you, you know, trying to make up their mind whether they want to, uh, you know, accept this uh, love offer or you may be thinking whether you should accept this offer or not. And some of you, like I said, could be bored or just not willing to accept the a love a love offer at this moment. But you do have the Ten of Cups here, which is like, is what you want you know or what somebody else wants you may be in a little doubt like i said you may be just observing right now because you know it could have been a toxic relationship for some of you or a stronghold or maybe there's some struggles inside yourself that you're trying to um uh to work on right now because this is a sign you know a card of working on something you, you could be working on yourself or this other person could be working on herself they could have just you know left the toxic uh, relationship you know and they're gaining their strength back maybe they just need time to gain their strength you know or you need time to gain your strength um this could be again a cancer pisces or scorpio but this is like i said there's an offer here and it's it's a good offer um but somebody's you know either waiting or or, or just you know observing to see how uh, this is going to turn out for some of you you just you know totally not accepting love from someone or somebody's not accepting love for you for you but there is love on the table here with the ten of cups there's some happiness here to be uh to be after someone works out their situation or after you work out a situation regarding something that may have been unhealthy maybe in the past is what i'm thinking that's why you got your guards up you're being firm you're standing your ground and you are working on yourself or somebody else is working on their self and gaining their strength back. Um, 
and they do have a beautiful love here that's being offered uh, but they're focusing on something else or thinking about something else or you are or just wondering if you should go that direction but you know spirit is saying you know it, it, it's a good thing with the ten of cups being here this is happiness this is joy this is a good um for some of you it's it's, it's a good thing you know it's something that you know you need to get it maybe get out of your head about or get out of your emotions about and stop worrying that for maybe some of you in the past that hasn't that you felt it uh, uh attached to or some kind of um, some type of, uh, what am I hearing? Some type of unhealthy, some type of, uh, maybe you felt like this person may have been codependent or you codependent on them or, you know, uh, just some struggles maybe with inside yourself or that other person inside their self. Or like I said, they could have just got out of an unhealthy relationship and something brand new is starting up with the Ten of Cups, okay? After some thought, after they think about it, or after you think about it, or, you know, or for like I said, some of you are, are just not feeling it right now, or somebody's not feeling it with you. There's some kind of sense of that, but it seems like, you know, there is love on the table here, and some happiness here for you. Um, but you have to temper yourself, you know, pull your emotions together. Um, go with inside yourself with spirit and let them temper you first. Maybe there's just some inner things that you have to balance out within yourself in order to bring on this happiness because it is there with the Ten of Cups. It's there. You just have to temper yourself and just, you know, end those, end those negative um, thoughts or thinking of something being negative and you know, end that so you can start a brand new beginning here. That's what I'm seeing because you do have love. There is love on the table here for you. You can have happiness. You can, but you have to, you have to temper yourself, okay? You have to balance out some things with inside of you spiritually wise. You have to um, cleanse yourself, meditate, pull it together emotionally. This is an emotional situation here that you're conflicted. I'm hearing the word conflicted about. But once you end that confliction, you are going to start a brand new beginning, okay? And it may be with this situation that's going on right now. So let me see if I can get some more information. Yeah, some of you, I feel like it's something that went on maybe in the past and it's kind of it's something new here or new offer that you're kind of because of that past situation that you're on guard about and it's you got love here it's definitely some happiness with the ten of cups being here definitely but you definitely have to temper that emotion so it can balance itself out and you can you know uh end that that situation whatever's going on inside of you or that other person it could be going on with them and start that brand new beginning because that's what death is ending for new beginning some of you are ending a situation or will be ending a situation so you can start something new but majority i'm hearing is just you have to it's, it's you or another person that you're around that has to um um temper their cells and pull their cells together because I'm just looking at, look, it's a soulmate connection. The Two of Cups is definitely soulmate for you. Some of you is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you. Because you got a lot of cup cards. So there's some emotional things going on with some of you Aquariuses out there. Or it could be your mate or your potential mate. There may be some emotional things going on with them that they have to straighten out in their life before they move on to their happiness because it's a soulmate connection. All right? So that's the happiness of it. Let's see, any more messages that we have for the sign of Aquarius 2017 for the month of September? And by the way, this could also be for a different set, okay? Just depends on how the uh, spirit wants uh, messages to come out.
Okay, I do feel like that some of you were carrying a, a very heavy load, too much responsibility. Um, you need to, you know, let go of some of the responsibilities, you know, with inside yourself or with a person. It's, it, you know, it's been a, it's just too much, the heavy, it's a heavy load within yourself or somebody else. And some of you, it could be with a fire sign, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And this could be a different group, as I said. What's the matter? You want to get down? Okay. I got Princess out here with me. <laughs> okay, Spirit, what other messages? What is okay? Some of you or somebody, you know, uh, holding back on their, their emotions and their feelings at this time. And it, because maybe they're involved, maybe they have too much on their table right now. But like I said, there's hope here. There's still the Ten of Cups and you got the, you know, uh, you got the uh, Two of Cups, which is a soulmate connection. So either you or someone else is holding back and observing something first and um, just holding back. Somebody's holding back because they feel like it's a, 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 a big responsibility or there's just too much load, a, a heavy load here that has to be laid down. And that's where temperance, temperance comes in. Balance that. Balance it out so you can start a new beginning and make this Ten of Cups, this happiness come to you. Sorry, you guys. Definitely need some balance, some stability in your life. Definitely. So, like again, so you can have this new beginning. It comes up again. Ending for new beginnings. So you have to balance yourself out. Get into some type of meditation. For some of you, it could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, male or female, who is uh, on the up and up. Okay. Um, some of you may um, have some um, outside interference. It could be somebody trying, you know, on the outside trying to interfere. You feel like you have to defend yourself. But you have the star card here saying, make your wishes and it will come true, Aquarius. And this is you. The star card is about Aquarius. And you have all the uh, tools necessary to make it happen. So create what you want. Because love is here on the table. You can have this. This is what spirit wants to give you. Um, but you have to temper yourself and you have to let go of any um, past uh, anxieties or past uh, things that happened to you that just wasn't healthy and release, you know, release feeling like you have to, you know, you, that you're carrying so much. But you have wishes, hopes, and dreams that's going to come true in a love relationship. The spirit is going to give you all the tools necessary. All you have to do is listen and balance yourself. Stay in meditation, uh, Aquarius, you know, and fight the battle. It'll be worth fighting for. Look, you got the happy home card again, the happiness, you know, in a little. Come here. Sorry, y'all. Come here. Get over here. You're going to have that happy home, and some of you is going to be with a, uh, a earth sign, a, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You know, it's just all about balancing out, balancing your life out, getting rid of the old stuff that you've been carrying, old type of baggage, and tempering yourself. So, and you know, make up your mind what you want, and, and, and you know, because you got blessings. There's a, a card of blessings there. This is a blessing for you. So don't get yourself caught up in something and, and, and self-sabotage because this love is on the table here waiting for you. You got the star card. Wishes and dreams coming true. This is something that you want. So don't try to um, sabotage it. Balance it. Balance yourself out. You know, get in the spirit. Get in the meditation. Okay? And then you're going to make things happen for yourself. You're going to have that happy home and that happy happiness. And all that, you know, uh, purgatory, whatever it is that you're going through inside yourself. And that, so you can start something new. Because that door there on the other side is, is cracked. It's ready for you to, uh, open, to open up and go through. Here's the death card again. 
but here's your happiness here. Some of you could be with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, like I said, or male or female, or this is your energy, just standing your ground. That's all you have to do and defeat, uh, you know, outside interference. You kind of get that, you know, stop being on the defense because this is something you dreamed and hoped for and wished for and Spirit has given you all the tools necessary in order for you to move forward, okay? So, let's see what other messages. Now, it's this one. Okay. What other messages, Spirit, that you have for the sign of Aquarius for the month of September 2017? Some of you are all up in your head over some, a situation that, you know, I believe in the past that was uh, hindering you. And, uh, and love is offered for you on the table, but you're hesitant because you're in your head. But you need to balance all that out. You got everything here. You know, your spirit God saying you got it all. You got it together. And you're going to be sitting pretty. You're going to be fine. You're going to move forward with confidence, but it's just something that you have to, you know, just let go of and, and, and move forward. And balancing yourself is going to help you to do that, to reach your goals, to reach, to reach what you really want to have in your life. Uh, new career. You know, something new coming up when it comes to career. If some of you were wondering about your career, Spirit wanted that to come out, okay? Uh, High Priestess is here to say, you know, trust your instincts, you know, trust your, uh, your, uh, ability, your, um, uh, instinct. Trust what you feel. <laughs> princess is just running over here <laughs> okay okay and you got the moon card okay trust your instincts for some of you you know we got you know different sets here i'm picking up trust your instincts or your feelings of what's going on if you know because it, with the moon card you know it, you know it's all going to be revealed to you you just have to trust your instincts for some of you, I feel like, you know, there's maybe, you know, something that you're questioning about or something going on maybe for some of you uh, that needs to be brought to the light, to the surface. Could be deception or it just could be something with inside yourself. And, you know, like I said, with the high priestess here, it's, you know, your intuition telling you, okay? So summon, you know, summons it. You know, call on your angel gods and help them to figure this out. Or just get yourself a reading and, and you know, get your full story. Because this is a, all over the place here, a mixed bag. And it just, like I said, very well maybe for just, you know, a different scenarios. And it is different scenarios, okay? And wishing, your wish. Make a wish so it can come true, just like you had here with the, uh, uh, the star card. This is like the star card. You know, make your wish so it can come true. Anything else, Spirit? Mm -hmm. and, and the strength card comes up again. You have the strength. They're going to give you the strength to pull through whatever it is you, that you're going through. You're going to have the strength, okay? So, any final information? Any final messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for September 2017? Different scenarios for a lot of you out there. The Spirit is talking to different people. Just put, if it resonates with you, put it as is. Because I'm just a messenger. That's all I am. But in order to get your full detail, you, you're, you're going to have to call in for a reading. Um, have your motivation. Get motivated. Get motivated. Get motivated. You got the uh, magician saying they're giving you all the tools necessary. So get the get the moving, Aquarius. For some of you out there, uh, some of you I feel like you're going to be moving to maybe a different location or moving away from something or someone. 
uh, some of you are in, in uh, have a hobby that you're working on right now, okay? These cards mix with, you know, love and um, um, general. Whoa, that one just flew out of there. Let's see what that says. Okay? You, you have spiritual growth. You know, that reminds me of um, uh, the Hierophant, you know, where you're getting spiritually connected, okay, for a lot of you. So, that's going to do it for you, Aquarius. I hope that made sense to a lot of you, and, you know, good luck to you. Um, you do have, some of you have love on the table here. It's just, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of, you're... You're probably thinking about something that happened on the past and it's putting you on the defensive. For some of you, um, you are in a toxic relationship that you have to release. You know, you have to stand your ground, okay? Uh, from someone that is toxic or, you're, or, or somebody or you or it could be someone else, okay? Um, and um, some things for some of you will come to an end for brand new beginnings, okay? You'll have all the new, all the tools necessary to move forward, okay? And for some of you, it is going to be in a, 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 a brand new relationship because you got the Ten of Cups and you've got the uh, Ten of Pentacles. So it could be with an Earth sign that you're going to be moving forward with. It's going to be happy for you. It's going to turn out to be happy and you're going to be very content and, and you're going to be very content. Okay, once you pull everything together and use all the tools necessary to bring you to where you need to go. Okay, so that's it for you. Thank you so much for viewing my channel. Hope this is, these messages made sense to a lot of you. Um, nothing negative here that I feel, you know. Spirit always talks about pop, but they have to bring out certain things in order for you to get where you need to go. Okay, that, that's, the, uh, that's the purpose of tarot. You know, it just, you know, gives you some things, some messages out there. And then, you know, as far as you personally, that's something you need to have a personal private reading with in order to see, you know, your full story and uh, for you and you and no one else but you. Okay? That's what it's all about. It's not, Tarot is not here to um, make decisions for you. It's here to give you messages and guidance um, and to call in for your for the goddess that you need personally, okay? That's what tarot is all about. Okay, well, thank you so much again for viewing my channel. Um, thank you. Um, I have my cards here If you that I've used in my reading. Where the heck are they? Okay, here they go. Um, and I got a lot more in here. Sandra Simply Love Oracle cards. You're welcome to purchase those. Just email me. And uh, if you're interested, I'll make sure you get them. Uh, don't forget to look at the, uh, I don't know if I mentioned that or not. I'm getting senile, y'all. I'm old. <laughs> um, see if you um, won the uh, Name My Second Channel. You know, go on there. It's, it's already been posted. Uh, if you know that you already participated in that and, you know, gave me some kind of name, you know, you want to look at that and see if your name has been called, okay? So you can, you know, pick, uh, get your winnings and your free reading and, uh, and uh, get your prizes sent out to you, okay? Uh, all the information be listed below. Thank you guys so much for your beautiful, wonderful comments. I love each and every one of you because love is all there is and love is all there ever be. <laughs> um, don't shoot the messenger. If you want to talk to anyone, talk to your guides and find someone spiritual connect, spiritually connected so you can get your own personal private reading to see where you need to go because spirit is there to do nothing but help. That's all it is. And tarot readers are here to give you the messages uh, to motivate you to get the help that you need on an individual basis. Okay, that's all it's about. We're not the solution. But we will give you a solution on an individual basis based on what your spirit guides are wanting to say to you. To get you on the right track and to get you love. Everybody deserves love. Everybody does. But do you want it? If you do, you need to make a call and talk to someone, okay? And get, and get your life together and be happy. Because happiness is on the table, okay? So you take care. Love you guys. And see you in the, in the mid-month mid of September. Take care now. Bye-bye. <laughs>